Hey everybody, let's talk about Facebook. This will be the third episode of this rant video because uh, we have three things to talk about today. Back in 2011, I made two Let's Talk About Facebook rant videos. One during the summer and one near Christmas time. I, ho I highly recommend you go back and watch those two because you might get a good laugh out of them. But the stuff in these videos is pretty much true. So anyways, um, today I'm going to be talking about three things about Facebook. Number one, I'm going to continue on ranting about Facebook's friend request blocking. Next, I'm going to be talking about their new timeline enforcement. And number three, I'll be talking about the new Facebook email, email switcheroo. You'll love that one. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the first thing. So when it comes to friend requests on Facebook, you better be careful when you add friends. Because... The truth is, uh, if you add too many friends at one given time, or if you have too many firm requests sitting unanswered, they will block you from sending firm requests. Yes, they will block you. It's happened to me. It's happened to people I know. It's ridiculous. Sometimes they will block you for um, adding individual people. And other times they'll just block you completely from sending firm requests and messaging others. And basically, um, one of the most common ways that firm requests um, get blocked on Facebook is because let's say you add several friends and they don't log in to check their accounts very often. See, Facebook assumes that when you send a friend request to somebody and it sits there, that person does not want to accept your friend request and your friend request sitting there is harassment to them and it is an annoyance. So, Facebook takes action against you for that. They consider your account as spam, um, abusive, that sort of stuff. So let's say you get blocked from adding a certain person who will say um, to prevent misuse of Facebook. This friend request can't be sent. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. I've actually got screenshots in my previous um, Let's Talk About Facebook episodes. And it's stuff you really ought to check out. It's, it's pretty crazy. Anyways, um, YouTube user iRule70s has sent me some information to share with you all. And his message reads as follows. Found info on friend request blocks for you to use. Well, I'm on my second friend request block because nobody responds to friend request because they don't log on much. So Facebook assumes that um, the friend requests are sitting there because they don't want to accept friend requests. But the truth is, these people don't log in all the time because we have lives and we have other things we have to do other than this Facebook. And he shares with me the information that is on a Facebook help page and um, it, says as it states as follows. If your account is temporarily blocked from sending a firm request, it's because firm requests you have sent have gone unanswered or have been marked as unwelcome. So it, there, it actually says firm requests go unanswered for whatever reason, you get blocked anyway. Okay, so from now on, please don't send a firm request to people you don't know personally. Facebook is a place for connecting with friends, family, classmates, co-workers, and other people you know well. Gee, you don't know why they changed the add as friend button to add friend. It says if you're blocked from sending friend requests, you may also be blocked from sending messages to people who are not your confirmed friends. To learn more about the, our policies, please review our community standards. And our rule of 70 states here, it says here's our offensive advice. Only send friend requests to people you know in real life, like your friends, family, co-workers, or classmates. Remember that people might not recognize you on Facebook if they haven't seen you, re seen you recently. Help people recognize you by using a real picture of yourself as your profile picture. You can also add an alternative name, like your nickname or maiden name, to your account. If you've met someone that you'd like to connect on Facebook, but you're not sure that person will remember you, send a, send a message first to reintroduce yourself. If you're interested in connecting with someone you don't know personally, try subscribing to that person instead of sending friend requests. You'll only see a subscribe button next to the names of people who allow subscribers. If you're trying to make new friends, try connecting with pages and groups that you've been interested in signing up to play social games. So anyways, there are a couple problems with those last couple of um, advice or paragraphs. It says, I always send friend requests to people you know in real life, like your, your friends, family, co-workers, and classmates. So Facebook is obviously just a place to connect with your existing friends. 
Go ahead, post some wall posts, some pictures, share things with people you already know. Don't get to know new people. I mean, because I mean that's that's not what a social networking site is for, right? See, that that's what don't make any sense. And um, it says if you met someone you like to connect with on Facebook, but you're not sure in person remember you, send a message first. Well, here's a problem with that too. Some people would actually have messaging turned off on their um, accounts. So you can only click the add friend button and it's hope and pray they'll accept your friend request so that way Facebook won't ban you. And um, used to be on Facebook when you click the add as friend button, that's what it used to be called back then, you had a little link there to send a personal message to that person with the friend request. That was actually a nice little addition. So that way if they had messaging turned off, you could still, um, you could still send them a message through the friend request to tell them who you are. And, um, yeah, it just says, I mean, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous how Facebook just blocks friend requests. Because most of the time, <laughs> Murphy's Law, is saying, I mean, it's, it's true, it seems like Facebook blocks you from sending friend requests to those you know, but you can add people you don't know all day long. Not a problem. You don't let you send a friend request, not a problem. Well, it says, of course, you actually get blocked from sending friend requests and messages to people. Now I got blocked, now see in my last um, video I mentioned I got blocked for two days for sending a friend request to somebody who I knew. Now apparently Facebook guessed that I didn't know them, so that's all that matters to them. So I guess I don't know the person that Facebook guesses at. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. And um, now I'm going to be talking about another thing. Facebook has now forced everybody over to timelines. Now for those who don't know what timeline is, it's a new Facebook layout that um, has all your posts and stuff on one column and on another column and there's a little line that goes down the center it's like a timeline and you have a little selection thing up here to the side where you can select different months, years, that kind of stuff. And to be honest with you, I, kind of, I like timeline but there are some definite disadvantages to timeline that I don't like. Let's say if I'm viewing somebody's profile, it used to be with the old profile layout, um, when you actually browse through the person's profile, you saw everybody's information in order from, let's say, one time to another. With the Facebook timeline, it likes to skip over certain amounts of time. And you have to click show more of March or show more of 2012. It's, it's ridiculous. You have to click and click and click and just to find a certain piece of information from a given time. And um, many people would prefer to have things the way they want them to be. I know some people on Facebook who like the older style profile. I mean, I switched over to timeline when they first started introducing it as a voluntary switch. So yeah, I switched to timeline, but I know many people who um, preferred the old layout, you know, would have liked it to stay that way. But of course, Facebook, they, they, want to say, they, do, they do things however they want, not however you want. So they change it automatically. So they eventually they roll out a message to people saying that within seven days, we are going to be switching everybody to timeline. And go ahead and preview your timeline before it goes live. So you more or less you are just forced to go a timeline whether you like it or not. So yeah, that's that's what I want to say about timeline enforcement. I don't like it. I mean, I use timeline, but I, don't, I just don't appreciate how Facebook it just forces everybody over to new things. And <laughs> you think timeline was bad? Wait till I tell you about this one. Now this happened back in the summer between June and July of 2012. It started, I, th I think, the 21st of June. I'm not exactly sure what exact date this happened. But Facebook has decided to randomly in the background, without notifying you, do a little switcheroo on your email that's listed on your profile. With this Facebook email switcheroo, what Facebook has done, see, back in 2010, Facebook has decided to create their own pointless email service. It's really a waste of time. Why would you waste your time when you already have an existing email account to switch to a Facebook email. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. You have to have an email account to sign up for Facebook, so why would I use my existing email that I've had for several years, sign up for Facebook, and then to switch all my email over to a Facebook account? And considering the fact that Facebook just randomly closes accounts for, let's say, um, let's say if you add too many friends in one day, and you've got blocked from sending friend requests numerous times already, they decided to um, disable your account. Would you really want to have your email disabled too with that? No. You'd rather have your email already alive with some other service, such as Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL, you name it. 
So why would you waste your time switching over to a pointless Facebook email service? And by the way, let me go and explain more about this Facebook email. All it is is um, it sends incoming emails to your inbox and Facebook, and if it's from somebody who's not a friend with you, it puts it into this other folder, so that way you're never notified unless you click the other folder. Isn't that just wonderful? I mean, since the Facebook email service was so sorry to begin with, nobody really wanted to use it. So if Facebook got their genius mind, they decided to go ahead and make emails more consistent on their site by changing everybody's email listed on Facebook accounts. What they did is they took your listed email accounts off of your profile and changed them to an at Facebook.com email. Let's say this Facebook account has um, John Doe at Hotmail.com and J Doe zero at email.cbcc.edu listed. Those emails are now hidden from your timeline and the john.doe at facebook.com is now displayed. And of course, they never notified you. They didn't want to. They didn't want you to know. And the facebook.com emails are more or less just a link and you click the link, it sends you to the, um, to the same message folder that you could have went to just by clicking messages person. Now, how point, now what's the point of that? And I mean, considering the fact that listening to an email on Facebook, I thought the purpose of that was to give your friends some sort of alternate communication to Facebook. There you go, Facebook. Just get rid of that. Make everybody use your service. That's what you want to do, isn't it? So anyways, um, over the past several months, Facebook is now, like they said, they still block you from sending friend requests if you add too many friends in one day or add too many friends, which by the way, you can't have over 5,000 on your profile anyway. And um, they also force everybody to switch over to timeline and they did a um, secret switch of your uh, listed email from your original email that you want to listen to an at facebook.com email. Isn't that just wonderful? So anyways, that's my um, let's talk about Facebook 3 rant video. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask.